What is it? I see you're still playing with your putter instead of finding a way to break up Luis and Sheridan. I think better when engaged in physical activity, Father. That disturbing mental image aside, I assume you've devised a plan to rip apart your sister and Luis, other than playing the tape of Sheridan confessing to killing Luis's father. We can't afford any more bad press. Uh, no, not yet. Damn it, Julian. I'll rip you apart if you don't come up with something soon. The fate of the Crane Empire depends on separating your sister from Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. I think I know who can help us find out if Julian and Alistair had anything to do with your father's disappearance. Who? My mother. She died when you were only a child. Yes, but I just remembered that she kept detailed diaries of her life as a crane. She left them to me in her will, but I was so young at the time they weren't given to me. I bet they were put away for safekeeping. Wait, there can't be any clues about my father and your mother's diaries? Why not? Because he vanished after she died. But maybe she knew things that led up to Martin's disappearance. Secrets that show a pattern to my father and brother's behavior. It's worth a shot. And I'm going to go find Julian right now and get him to give me those diaries. Well, I'm coming with you. Well, here you are. Crane Family Archives. Where all the family secrets are held. Amazing. Yeah, this is it's pretty incredible. Scary if you ask me. Mm -hmm. I still can't believe that my security card opened this vault door. Now, I thought for sure that Alistair and Julian would have terminated my access now that they found out I wasn't a crane. Well, maybe they just forgot about it. Yeah, I guess. Mm. I wonder what kind of secrets they got hidden up in here. Well, most probably pertain to crane industries, but... Julian and Alistair told me something once that always made me wonder. Wonder about what? They said the archives hold secrets big enough. That if they were to ever get out, not only would the Crane Empire be blown apart, the entire world would be. <laughs> Evil be gone! Go back to the depths of hell from which you came! Charity's trapped in hell, doomed to oblivion. I think I'll go back to my cave and celebrate. Hasta la vista, loser! That unearthly laughter just stopped. Sure is quiet in here. Too quiet if you ask me. Whoa! Oh, no. What the heck is going on in here? Hey, what's happening in here? This place looks like a war zone. Daddy, it was horrible. Charity got sucked into hell by demons. What? It's true, Eve. First I lost my unborn baby, and now my niece. Grace, we don't know what really happened to Charity. Don't touch me. This is all your fault. If you brought me back sooner, I could have helped them save Charity. Now demons have my niece in hell. What really happened here? The demons pulled Charity into hell, Eve, just like Simone said. Wait a minute, how? None of this is making any sense. But it happened, Coach Russell. And I was in hell with Charity. Say what? We thought Charity had disappeared sleepwalking, but she didn't. 
And Father Lonigan sensed the presence of evil, and he came over here to help us fight it. And we didn't know it then, but Charity's bedroom closet had become a portal to hell. And she was sucked in. But she begged us to help save her by speaking through the computer, but we had no idea where she was. And then I, I thought I heard her calling from the basement, so we went down there to look for her, and the walls started closing in on us, like a giant trash compactor. Father Lonigan used holy water to save us. And that's when Kay found the courage to tell us that she had seen what happened to Charity firsthand. So we rushed up to Charity's bedroom, and, and we looked in the closet, and everything was normal at first. And then we heard Charity calling to us. Father Lonigan summoned the power of heaven to force the evil that had Charity to reveal itself. And that's when we saw Charity, trapped by demons in the flames of hell. I wanted to save her as soon as I saw her. But Father Lonigan said I wasn't ready to fight evil. And then when we were getting ready, the demons came out of the closet. They tried to kill me. I finally fended them off, and, and ready or not, I knew I didn't have any time to waste, so... I jumped into the flames to save Charity. While I was gone, Reese and Father Lonigan found an ancient church document. It told of a ladder called the Ladder of Lucifer. It, it could be lowered into hell, and the person you were trying to save could grab it and climb their way back up. Well, I, I found Charity and the ladder. And it, we were climbing out of hell, but the evil was doing everything it could to, to stop us. Finally, I couldn't hold on to the ladder and charity any longer. And I fell out of hell, half dead. Reese and Kay, they revived me, and when I realized what had happened, we looked up to see charity on the edge of hell fighting the demons. Father Lonigan said that I could use my love to help charity beat them. And we were winning. But then the demons cut the rope, and charity was dragged back into hell by the demons. See, Coach, the rope didn't fray. It was cut. All right, wait a minute. We got hellfire, demons, the ladder of Lucifer. You know, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Everything Miguel said is true, TC. Father, with no offense to you, did you see what he said happened? I did. I saw my son savaged by demons, and then fall from clouds on the ceiling, barely alive. It was horrible. And then to see poor Charity pulled into the abyss by evil itself. You know, I pray you never have to see such an unspeakable sight. My fear is that the battle with evil is far from over. No, it won't be over until I rescue Charity from hell. <laughs> Sorry, Miguel. It ain't gonna happen. Charity is on her way to extinction, which will make me the new empress of evil in harmony and in the entire world. <laughs> Look, this is wrong. I'm not a crane. Secrets inside this vault are none of my business. Look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have even opened this door. Hey, man, more power to you, because, uh, I don't know if I could pass up a chance to look through the crane archives. Especially after all the stuff that's going down. And I still don't get how Julian and Alistair just cut you off the way they did, man. I mean, you grew up with crane. And the second he found out you didn't have none of their blood, out you went. That ain't right. That's the crane way. You shut the door on the outside. Whatever secrets are in this vault, they have nothing to do with me. I have to get on with my life. Life that Teresa and I are going to make together. So the sooner I pack up and get out of here, the better. All right. Let's do it. Sheridan and Luis pose the greatest threat to the Crane Empire since Luis's father, Martin Fitzgerald. 
All of our secrets are safely locked away in the Crane family archives. No matter how good a cop Luis is, he'll never gain access to the mother load. Nevertheless, I want Pilar's spawn and your sister broken up. Got that? And figure out something quickly. They're on the way to see you right now. Deny whatever requests they make. But I just saw Luis and Sheridan at the gazebo. And now we're here in the solarium. Why are you keeping tabs on us, Julian? Yeah, it's like you're afraid of us. Why? <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I'm still having a hard time believing what you said happened here. Would you have believed ravens attacked the house? Or blood dripped from the walls if you hadn't seen it yourselves? Oh, no, but, you know, I... I mean no disrespect. But you were not here. We were. We all saw this. Look, what I want to know is what we do next. How do we rescue Charity, Father Lonigan? We must wait until evil makes its next move. Until then, everyone pray for Charity's safe return. And you, Miguel, focus on Charity's love. Maybe that will help us find a way to save her. I can look for some answers on the internet. Maybe there are some more old church documents that can help us out. Meanwhile, poor Charity is burning in hell. Grace, honey, let me take you upstairs, okay? You can't help Charity if you don't heal properly. Don't you understand, Eve? I mean, don't any of you understand? Charity is not the only victim of evil here. My baby was too. And so was Ethan. It's all connected. Evil has come to harmony. Just like the angel said it would. And things are only going to get worse. Evil is going to tear our lives apart. Come on, honey, let me take you upstairs to lie down. Eve's right, Grace. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let's go. That's right, Grace. Evil is in harmony. And you mortals are on your way out. <laughs> oh, I was simply wondering where you were. You both looked so happy earlier at the gazebo. I was hoping your bliss did not end in a spat. <laughs> well, sorry to disappoint you, Julian, but Sheridan and I couldn't be happier. Well, good. Glad to hear it. So what can I do for you? I just remembered that our mother willed me her diaries before she passed away. I was too young at the time to read them. Now I want them. Where are they? Well, our sainted mother's sweet parting was so long ago, I haven't a clue as to where her diaries could be now. Sorry, I can't help you. Fine, then I'll call the family lawyers. They'll know where they are. Oh, no. Uh, I have to call the attorneys uh, later on a business matter anyway. I'll see if they can locate the diaries for you. Oh, don't bother. I'll do it. But Sheridan... It was such a painful time in your life. Why dredge up all that heartache, especially now when you're so happy with Louise? Like you ever gave a lick about Sheridan's happiness. Why don't you just give her the damn diaries, Julian? They belong to her and not to you anyway. It's really not that simple. You see, even if the diaries still exist, there's no telling where they might be. Our family papers would fill several presidential libraries, not the lone shoebox you loan Pesfit's journal. Keep your papers in. I know where my mother's diaries are. The Crane family archives. Thanks for helping me out. You made cleaning out my office a lot easier. Hey, that's what friends are for, brother, man. Hey. You guys are the best. Listen, man, I'm gonna start loading up the car while you get back to the office and uh, get the rest. So why don't you give me your box? Right. Put it on top of mine. You got it? Yep. I guess I won't be needing this anymore. What 
are you doing? You are planning on using that card to try to get back into the Crane family archives, aren't you? Yeah, one thing's for certain. Charity's gone. But we'll get her back, I promise. Father Lonigan, I did everything you asked, but Miguel still couldn't save Charity. And I still don't have my soul back. How am I going to get it back? You must trust in the Lord, my child. It is the one chance you have of getting your soul back. You shouldn't have betrayed me, Kay. Now you'll never get your soul back, much less Miguel. Oh, I'm getting bored with the Bennett Bunch. I wonder what else is on the Mirror Channel. Ooh. Bang. <laughs> oh. Unsuspecting victim. Go, you bloodsuckers, go! Oh! Oh, damn that Buffy! I don't know what Spike sees in that girl. Sam and Ivy. How could he have kept it a secret from me for so long? They were never involved during your marriage, Grace. That's why Sam didn't tell you about Ivy. He didn't want you to feel threatened by the past. Still, I think he should have told me the truth. Especially when Ivy started inviting us to all those parties and dinners. I feel like such a fool. Like my whole marriage is a sham. You know, Gray, studies show that all marriages have secrets. Now, is the one that Sam kept from you really enough to destroy your relationship? I don't know. Now, honey, sometimes people keep secrets because they're trying to protect their partner, just like Sam was trying to protect you. Now, was it a mistake? Yes. Sam didn't mean any harm. Let me ask you a question, Eve. Do you have a secret you keep from T.C.? Poor little baby. I lost him. Family archives? What are you talking about? We keep all our important papers in a special vault at the Crane Industry Headquarters. Huh. That's so. <laughs> there is nothing in the archives that concern you, Louise. Just business papers, contracts, things pertaining to our global empire. Our mother's diaries couldn't possibly be there. I think I'll take a look anyway, just to be sure. No, you can't look in the archives for those diaries, Sheridan. I forbid it. Look, Teresa, relax. This... Wait, I'm not thinking about going inside the Crane archives. But you saw the look on Ethan's face. Now, he's really going to miss this place and his place in it. And I think... You know, maybe someday he might want this card as a souvenir. But why? I, I don't know. I, I just have this feeling. Look, I have a feeling too, okay? I have a feeling that you should not be messing around with crane secrets like this. I told you, I'm not going to use the card. Hey, uh, we'll meet you down at the car, okay? okay? Okay, sure. Look. You're pushing this way too far this time, okay? Just put the card back in the trash, please. Wait, I'm only keeping this card as a souvenir for Ethan. Now, it's no big deal. Come on. It is a big deal, Teresa. I think there's big trouble ahead for you and Ethan. And the more secrets you keep now, the worse it's going to be for your future. The truth is, Grace, I do have a secret that I've kept from T.C., Oh. oh. Still, I'm sure your secret can't be as bad as the one that Sam kept from me. Well, I'm afraid it is. Oh, come on, you, Eve. I, I don't believe that. Just like Sam was involved with someone before he met you, 
I was involved with someone before I met T.C. A man that I met when I lived in Boston. But I thought... What? That I was perfect? No, Grace. Oh, far, far from it. Still, your, your circumstances had to be different. I mean, at least T.C. doesn't have to see this man all the time, like I had to see Sam and Ivy together. And at least he's not being made a fool out of every day. You are so wrong, Grace. Sam's secret and my secret are very much alike. But you said you met this man in Boston. I did, but he lived in harmony. And he still does. Oh. I'm not involved with him, Grace. I haven't been since I met T.C. But I still see him in town. And so does T.C. Who is this man? Who is this man that you were involved with? God, help me. It was Julian Crane. I had an affair with Julian Crane. You see, only three people are allowed into the archives, Sheridan. Father, myself, and E. Make that two people in light of Ethan's new non-crane status. I'm a crane, too. Why can't I look in the family archives? Because they contain such sensitive information. Barring you from the archives protects not only crane interests, but you yourself. Oh, really? How? Well, it's really quite simple. If you were allowed into the archives, some very unscrupulous people might be interested in what you saw there. You could be at risk for kidnapping. I mean, after being targeted for murder by a drug cartel, are you really so up for another round of jeopardy? We're cranes, Julian. The wealthiest family in the world. We are all constantly at risk for being kidnapped. I really don't think I'm going to be targeted just because I went looking for my mother's diaries. Sorry, sister dear. I can't risk it. Let's get a court order to get in the archives. Well, that's highly unlikely, given the Cranes helped elect every judge in the state. Are you listening? Louise, stop. Look, it isn't worth it. I'll just call the family lawyers, and together we'll find out what happened in my mother's diaries. Well, they're in those archives. And Julian's feeble act's a dead giveaway. Luis is right, Julian. You handled that like the bungling idiot you are. Well, they're gone, aren't they? Request denied. That's the end of it. No, Julian. Thanks to you, Sheridan and Luis are convinced the family archives are chock full of secrets. They are. Including the big one we never mention. Precisely. And after the way you handled your sister and Luis, not only must we worry about breaking them apart, we have to worry about Martin Fitzgerald's son finding his way into the family archives. Nice work, Julian. Because of your ineptitude, the Crane Empire is now one step closer to annihilation. <sighs> Reese, have you found anything on the Internet that could help us get charity? No, nothing yet. I'm still looking. Father Lonigan was right about hell. The lies, the deceptions facing me were horrible. And looking for charity was even worse. Believe it or not, I was even trapped in water for a while. There's water in hell? It led me to the evil that was keeping charity. What form was the evil, Miguel? He was a witch, Father. A cruel, heartless witch. I'll never forget her face. She had these big, mean eyes and, and eyebrows like a Vulcan and this long, crimped hair. Miguel's describing Hecuba. I, I found it. I've got a way we can save Charity. <gasps> How, Reese? Okay. It says here that the person who loves Charity the most, that's you, Miguel, has to go to the evil that first trapped her into hell. What do you mean, go to the evil? You have to find the witch's lair and destroy it. If that's what I have to do, then I'll do it. 
I'll do whatever it takes to save Charity. Hughes. Wait, 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 wait. There's more. There's a warning. You'll be risking your life by doing so. I pretty much figured that, Reese. If you do die, you and Charity spend the rest of eternity in hell. I can't believe what the Pilar and the kids told us. Well, Father Lonigan did back them up. Strange things have been happening around here lately. Yeah. Then why is everything in Charity's closet normal except for those scorch marks? <sighs> Beats me. Maybe the cloud that everyone saw downstairs was some kind of strange condensation. The lightning could have been a short circuit caused by the dampness. But what about the demons that Pilar and the kids said they saw in the cloud? Maybe everyone was so upset about Charity missing that the shape in the cloud uh, looked like demons to them. You know, Sam, I do believe in demons. Only in the flesh and blood variety like the cranes. They're the worst of any mythical demon out there. At least in the Bible, goodness can always stop evil from hell. But here on Earth, nothing can stop the evil of a crane. They will destroy everything they touch. I was so touched by Julian when I first met him. I'll, I like to think that he was different then, you know, that he was, he was kinder, he was more gentle and, and decent. They were just qualities that Alistair just crushed out of him when he broke Julian's spirit and left just the empty wretch of a man that you see today. So you really, you really cared for Julian? Yeah. I was young and I was struggling and, and Julian, he made me feel safe, special. He showered me with all kinds of attention. He took me to all sorts of glamorous places. And he bought me all sorts of beautiful and expensive things. Everything that a man can do to impress a woman, Julian did. And before I knew it, we were involved. We were deeply and passionately involved. Oh, but TC hates Julian more than anyone. <sighs> That's why I can't ever tell him my secret. There's no telling what TC would do. Eve, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry for all your pain. And this burden that you've had to carry for so many years. Thank you, Grace. But you know, as hard as it's been for me, it was just as hard for Sam. I told you my secret hoping that you would better understand why Sam didn't tell you about Ivy. Look, Eve, I, I appreciate your trying to help. But your past with Julian is nothing like Sam's past with Ivy. How so? Sam and Ivy had a child together. You and Julian didn't have a child. Eve? Oh, my God. You and Julian... Yeah, little boy. But he died. You see, Grace? I lost my baby, too. Sweetheart. Man, I can't stop thinking about them crane archives. All them locked file cabinets full of who knows what kind of secrets. Bugs me out, man. Yeah, I know. I mean, I got a weird feeling, too. Like, 
The cranes have something really ominous hidden in there. No offense, of course. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I'm not a crane anymore. I can't take offense to every offhanded remark someone says about the family. Hey, y'all, look, I gotta get back to work for Beth gets on my case. Oh, oh, would you mind checking in the stock room to see if that tennis book I ordered is in yet? Well, come with me. We'll check together. Okay. Catch y'all later. Okay. I know how hard cleaning out your office was. I'm so proud of the way you handled it. I couldn't have done it without your love and support. Hey! <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just made a batch of your favorite muffins. You want one? Oh, yes, please. I'm sorry, but you back. Yeah. Something wrong, Sheridan? You look a little put out. Try locked out. Excuse me? Luis and I just got finished talking to your father. I mean, Julian, about the diaries my mother left me in her will. I don't know anything about any diaries. I had forgotten about them myself. My mother died when I was so young I never got to read them, and I'm almost positive that they're in the Crane archives, only Julian won't let me go look for them there. He said the archives are off limits for my own safety. Only the way Julian was acting, it's damn obvious why he doesn't want Sheridan to read what's in them. There's information that could hurt the cranes. Uh, okay, but why the sudden interest in these diaries? Luis and I want to start investigating his father's disappearance again. Look, why do you keep insisting that my family's involved with that somehow? Ethan, they're not a crane anymore. You're right. Keep forgetting. Look, Ethan, I know it's second nature for you to defend Alistair and Julian. I'm almost positive that they know what happened to Luis's father, even if they weren't directly involved in his disappearance. Yeah, well, I think they are. That's why I need to find my mother's diaries. Because maybe she left some sort of a clue, a lead that we could follow. Only Julian is determined to not let me have what is rightfully mine. I, you know, I, I just wish you would have told me earlier. I mean, I was just at Crane Industries. I used my security card to get into the vault to take one last look at the archives. This is perfect. Forget about a court order. We can just use Ethan's security card yeah. to get into the archives and look for the diaries ourselves. Uh, no, you can't. Why not? I threw away the security card. I don't have it anymore. Is that going to do it? Yeah. All right. Um... So sorry you lost your baby. I know it must have been just awful for you. But it was. And even though I can't prove it, I always thought it was Alistair who made Julian abandon me when I told him that I was pregnant. Oh, God, Grace, I felt so alone during my pregnancy. I didn't have my baby's father to depend on or to comfort me when we lost our son. Eve, I think that you should tell T.C. the truth, that you should tell him your secret. He can comfort you, help you heal. No. T.C. would never understand, Grace. He would not understand. What wouldn't I understand, Eve? What's got you so upset? You're upsetting yourself for nothing, Father. Wrong as usual, Julian. Unlike you, I knew that one day Sheridan would remember your mother's diaries and ask for them. Yes, well, Sheridan can beg and plead and threaten court orders till she's blue in the face, but she's never going to gain access to the family archive. She better not, because if your sister or Luis ever get their hands on those diaries, you can forget about ever being my heir. I'll see that you spend the rest of your life managing the general store on Crane Industries' property in Siberia. Oh, please, no, Father. You know how I hate the cold. And little Julian hates the cold even more. Toes aren't the only thing you could lose to frostbite, you know. I 
Your mother's diaries must be in the Crane Archives somewhere. And who knows? Maybe they'll give us the answers to what really happened to Larissa's father. There's only some way that I could get into that vault. No cash. I'll have to charge it. As long as it's money, honey. Thank you. Oh. Teresa, this isn't a credit card. Um, you know, I, I actually handed you the wrong thing, so... Oh. I know what that is. I can't believe my luck. Miguel can save his lady love now. Charity will soon be cinders on the ash heap of eternity. And I will rule the world! What Reese says is true, then whoever tries to find this lair could be killed before they get there? It's a definite possibility. Miguel, you can't take a chance like that. You can't. I have to, okay? I love charity. I have to do whatever I can to save her. But Miguel, it's... Look, how do I find this lair of this witch that's, that's keeping charity in hell? I mean, how would any of us know where, where she lives? Hello, dear. I have been waiting for you for such a long, long time. You know where this evil lives, don't you, Kay? Kay, is Father Lonigan right? Do you know where this evil witch lives?